In our previous lesson, we learned about how many particles are in a mole, and we said that there's a, a very important number, uh, Avogadro's number, and it's equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. And that's how many particles, like uh, atoms or molecules or formula units, are uh, found in a mole. We also talked about uh, the volume of a mole of gas when you're at uh, standard temperature and pressure. There are uh, 22.4 liters in a mole. However, sometimes it's more practical to weigh out something on a scale or find its mass. And so in our lesson today, we're going to answer this question. It's what is the mass of a mole? How much does it weigh, in other words, if you put it on a scale? And so we're going to say that one mole of any element is actually different depending upon the element. It's equal to its atomic mass expressed in grams. And so what that means is if we have an element, we can look at any element on the periodic table. Uh, for example, we can look at this element right here, which is magnesium. And on the periodic table, we see that its atomic mass is uh, the decimal number. So that would be this number right uh, here. And so we would say that its atomic mass is about 24.305. And so if you want to weigh out one mole or 602 sextillion magnesium atoms, you would need to weigh out 24.305 grams. And if you do that on a scale, you could, or on a balance, you could point to that and say, here we have 602 sextillion atoms of magnesium, one mole of magnesium atoms. If you had another element like, uh, here's carbon as an example. Well, we look at its atomic mass and we see that it's 12.011 grams. And so we can do something similar and say that one mole of carbon is equal to 12.011 grams. Now, in introductory chemistry, we uh, try to make it as easy on you as possible. And so uh, it's OK to round that off uh, to the nearest hundredths place or uh, in my class to the nearest tenths place. And so it's okay to say that one mole of carbon is equal to about 12.0 grams. Now, what about this gas here, oxygen gas? Well, if you look at the, the atomic mass, it is very close to 16.0. But is the mole of one mole of, um, excuse me, is the mass of one mole of oxygen gas 16 grams? Well, not exactly. It's actually 32 grams. And why is that? Well, it's because oxygen is one of the seven diatomic elements. And so oxygen gas, the, the gas that you breathe in, is not just O. Its formula is actually O2. And so we have to take that into account what it's, uh, as according to its formula. Now what about water? What is the mass of a mole of water? Well, we all know that uh, the formula for water is H2O. And so if we write that out here, H2O, we have to add up the individual atomic masses of those elements. So hydrogen is very close to 1.0, but we have two of those. And we also have one oxygen atom. So to find the mass of a mole of water, we have to take 1 plus 1 plus 16. And so that's very close to 18 grams. And so if you want to weigh out a mole of uh, water molecules, you just need to take a, a balance or a scale and measure out 18.0 grams of water. And you can point to that and say, that's a mole of water, 602 sextillion water molecules. Well, we're going to do a few problems today, some examples. And here's the type of problem that we're going to start with. It says, what is the mass of 0 0.35 moles of sodium metal. And so we're going to work these just like we did with the other mole problems. We're going to start with what's given to us, 0 0.35 moles of sodium. And so I'm going to write that down, 0.35 moles of Na. And so the question says, what is the mass? That's what we're trying to convert to. Now you have to know that mass is measured in grams. That's something that you need to know. So down here at the end, I'm going to put an equal sign and then grams of sodium. 
Now, in our conversion factor, put a conversion factor there, and the unit that goes on the bottom is the unit that we're starting from, and so that's going to be moles. And so moles goes on the bottom of our conversion factor. And what goes on the top? Well, since we're converting to grams, grams will go on top. Now, how many grams are in a mole of sodium? Well, if we look at the periodic table square for sodium here, we can see its atomic number is very close to 23.0. So we can say that there are 23 point zero grams in one mole of sodium. So we can cancel moles top and bottom and it looks like we're going to have to multiply. So on our calculator we take 0.35 times 23 and the answer we get is about 8.1 or something very close to that. So we can say it's equal to about 8.1 grams of sodium. So if you were to take a balance or a scale and weigh out 8.1 grams of sodium, you could point to that and say that's 0 0.35 moles of sodium atoms. Let's try another example. Let's try uh, this problem here. It says 100.0 grams of Na2O, and that's a, a compound called sodium oxide, is equal to how many moles? Well, we're going to do the same thing we did earlier. We're going to start with what's given to us. So we have 100 grams or 100.0 grams of Na2O and the question asks how many moles is that equal to? So we have to convert that to moles. Well once again here at the end we're going to have an equal sign and since we're going to convert to moles that's what we're going to have at the end and hopefully we'll have a correct answer next to that and so we need a conversion factor and the unit that goes on the top well it's going to be moles since we're converting to moles what unit goes on the bottom well it's grams since we're starting with grams and so we're going to need to refer to the periodic table to find out how many grams are in one mole of this compound so here are the periodic table squares for sodium and oxygen and once again we see that sodium is about 23.0 but we have two of those and so we have to add uh, 23 plus 23 and then we have oxygen we have one of those so we add in about 16.0 so the total uh, mass of one mole of this is very close to 62.0 grams. Now, if you don't see where we get that, well off to the side here, just do a little calculation. Na2O, we have two oxygens and each one is about 23 grams apiece. So that's 46. And then we also have to add in one of the oxygens. That's 16. So that's a total of 62. So that's where that 62 comes from. Now, back to the problem, it looks like we can cancel grams top and bottom, and so we're left with moles of sodium oxide, and that's our desired unit. So it looks like we're going to have to divide, since the, the main number here is in the denominator. So 100.0 divided by 62, and so when you divide that on your calculator, it's very equal, or it's very close to about 1.61. So going to put 1.61 moles of Na2O or sodium oxide. And so this is how you can uh, convert from grams to moles or, or moles to grams.